Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your girl Stacy. Um, this is basically an afterthought. I hope everybody had a great Thursday. Thursday day and uh, everything is going your way. Of course, me guys, I had some drama on my hands earlier this morning, as you guys can see. Um, what am I doing right now? I'm watching scary movies. So, but um, I just want to sit back, guys, and you know. To be on YouTube, you got to have tough skin. I mean, very, very tough skin. But there comes a time when even the toughest skin individual has to take a, take a break. Now, you guys know when I first started this channel, there was no intent to uh, make friends or, well, yeah, make friends. Yeah, definitely. But to uh, get on here and make money and do anything to get subscribers, that's not me, man. And, uh... But I just want to give you guys uh, some advice, you know, for being on YouTube. When you get on YouTube and you start a channel, man, I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have a tough skin, you're not going to last, okay? But if you do decide to start a channel, remember, you cannot let anybody into your chat or into your life because you got some backstabbers out there. Man, if they sit there and they backslam and slam against Jesus Christ, then what makes you think that you're exceptional to the rule? But the rule is this. When it comes to YouTube, you can't get so personal. I've learned that today, the hard way. You can't trust everybody. You can't. Because the people I thought that were in my corner, I mean, <laughs> funny but true. I mean, it's just life, you know. You just got to roll with the punches. The people I thought was in my corner actually weren't. I looked at so many live streams today where people were calling me and slamming my name through the mud, even my sisters, and saying that I don't have people in my life that I say I do that I'm a liar and oh my god it just goes on and on and on but you know what here I am home with my family with my grandkids my husband and I'm about to have a baby and I said to myself is it all worth it yes it is all worth it for my friends my family members that are on my channel that was one particular individual that said that um, she sent people to my <laughs> oh guys I hate to repeat it, but I gotta tell you honey I'm gonna keep it 100 with you always will says she sent some people to my channel and that they you guys are the reason that she helped build my channel and I told her I said well no you didn't I said you did not help me build my channel I did me and my soldiers no, that first time I met you, you only had two subscribers, whatever the number was. It was just, I mean, relentless. I just saw it back and I just looked at her, you know. I mean, because basically I had unsubscribed to her channel and, you know, a bunch of chaotic bull crap came on. But you know what? I'm not even going to mention that anymore because it is what it is. But guys, I will tell you this. Number Rule number one, be careful of who you let in your house. When I say that, be careful who your friends are because you got friends out there that will stab you in the back to just get a view or to just to, you know, group with you in your community, your particular community. When I say community, because the world is yours, you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to YouTube and, you know, just basically being real or being fake because it's all entertainment. And once you do a video, boom, and shoot it out to YouTube, guess who that product becomes? The people's. So, you know, if you got content on YouTube, I'm going to tell you something right now. It's free will. People can take your stuff. Like I've seen people do so many times with top YouTubers, you know, from McJigger Nuggets to all the way down, Kid Behind the Camera to uh, any, just anybody. And, you know, YouTube has policies and guidelines and procedures for you to sit there and read. And I believe it behooves you to read them so you know what you can and can't do. You're not going on speculations because a lot of people think that, you know, um, YouTube uh, basically puts out things out. And then you got to do certain things like somebody said you can't say subscriber in your room, in your chat room, which is a lie. Or um, basically that you cannot um, take somebody else's content. And use it. I mean, especially when you ask for permission. Man, it's just crazy. But uh, here, I look at myself. I type my name in. You guys could do it if you want to. Stacy Little. And it's it's amazing when you friend up with somebody and you put trust in them and tell them something 
that you thought they would hold dear to your heart. And the next thing you know, it's out there circulating because you told one individual that you trusted them. And and they just took it and they just took it, took it, took it to make some views and all this other stuff. Man, that is monotical bullshit. But you know me, I just sit back and just sit back and look at it. I'm like, these most some crazy, pathetic individuals. And uh, there's one person that, you know, I say that I thought it, they were my friend, but at the end of the day, you know, they're going to choose the right side to be on. And it's definitely not mine. So if you feel that you got to choose your friends over me, please go ahead and choose what your heart tells you to be with. And I know that, you know, you and I aren't going to be friends today. This individual knows exactly who I'm talking to. I'm not going to call any names. But if you let other people come and tell you negative things about me, but you make a video and a dedication to me saying you're my friend, you love me, you thank God I'm in your life, now why is it so hard for you to make a decision about who's telling the truth, who's actually lying? And, uh, and I, I went to your page and I seen your video and uh, you feel like you got to make a decision. Well, when you make your decision, you, you make it with a good sound heart and you don't get any influential messages from me. I'm just going to sit back and do me like I like to do you. You know what I'm saying? We talk on Facebook or whatever. That's cool. But, you know, the the company that you keep, you know, um, if that's what you want to be around, then do that. Um, I've been looking at your chat and I see all the comments and stuff and, you know, and it's just crazy how you let uh, other people, and I'm supposed to be your friend, talk shit about me. That's cool. You know? Uh, at the end of the day, honey, there's no tears, no, no sleep loss, you know, because uh, when you meet people on social media, you got to un- un- you gotta not be social media with them, either a true friend or their foe, either with you or against you, simple as that. And me, I decided to take the good route, you know, I'm a very nice person. I mean, I don't bother anybody unless they say something about me, but I see all these videos up. And I did not allow anyone or give anyone consent to do a video on me. Now, if I wanted to be the bitch of Babylon, like you guys calling me, or or what, what was that one person somebody said that, uh, oh, she lies, and oh, she got triplets in a closet. Was one person videoing and while the other one is in the closet. Let me tell you something, honey, sister. When it comes to my family, my kids, or anything about me, keep them out of your mouth. Because right now you're hitting a low blow. Now, that video that you did, your live stream, Miss Kelly Huff, I mean, clap back, clap back. And uh, you can take it how you want to, but really, I give two flying fucks about what you think about me, honey. Because when you sit there and you sit there and you use your little weapon, your little arsenal to get your little friends to co-sign for you, what does that mean to me? Absolutely nothing. Now, I came into your stream and I said, well, I said why are you talking about me? And you tried to get irate, try to belittle me. I'm not going to let no one of your caliber belittle me, honey. My ancestors come from a long, long, long line of strong black sisters. And I'd be damned if I'm going to let a woman like you talk shit about my family, my career, and your little circus followers that follow you. You guys can do three things. Go straight to hell. Really. Now, to the people that support me, I love you guys. I'm going to continue to bring you good content. That is standing in the guidelines of YouTube. And, uh, and um, Miss Kelly, I don't know where you're getting your information from that I got a channel shot down. Negative. I don't know where you get your information that uh, I live by myself. I don't. I don't know where you're getting your information, Ms. Kelly Huff, about the fact that I'm not in the military. Bullshit. 32 years. I don't know where you get your information from that women or people in the military don't cuss people out. <laughs> Bullshit. Do you actually think me, being who I am, or any person that's been in the military or ranks of five years that have rank of the collar, don't have to cuss someone out? Honey, get with the program obviously you don't know it's military so keep military infrastructure or me or my individuals meaning u.s army out of your mouth now i don't know what your problem is i really don't care i'm gonna say this and i'm not gonna even sit here even talk about so much drama anymore honey you need to get a life because anytime that you spend all day long on youtube trying to sit here and picnic bites try to break friends up honey you are 
something else. Now, I heard all the things you said about me today. F me, F that, F, 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 F me. Then your girl, whoever you, y'all sitting there trying to protect, you know, fuck me. Okay. Okay. But you know what? It's best to get pissed off than pissed on. And you sitting here acting like that you are mama goose and like you're going to do something to someone. Honey, what are you scared? Maybe you look in the mirror, you might scare yourself, you know? I'm not here to talk junk, brag and boast, but one thing I will not do is take a backstabbing friend who sit there and talk shit about me when I'm not there to defend myself. Now, if you feel like you got a problem with me or you got some comments to say about me, then you know what? Don't sit behind your camera and talk junk. Be a woman to do a chat with me or basically send me an email. Or Matter of fact, I tell you what, Kelly, don't say nothing at all to me. How about that? You and Kaylee and Kaylee and Mandy and... Who else says it? Candy Rain and uh, J.P. Morgan. Who else was it to send up some of some comments? Let me throw them out to you. Uh, truthfully, Trisha. Come on. What would you use uh, and talk about my content? Now, I remember you, Kelly Huff. You uploaded a video to my, this is my friend. And then she uh, been, uh, whatever you had said about that Truthfully, Trisha incident. I thank you for it, but yet and still, you was only trying to get views. You uploaded a video, and it went viral as hell. I think about 450 likes or whatever. And then you had your little crew who brought your dead channel back to life. Okay. But I tell you what, if I wanted to be a bitch that you say I am, I could have immediately had your channel take down for content that don't belong to you, and I'm the subject of your, your, your topics. And then I entered your chat room today, and I said, why are you talking about me? You better leave my friend Kaylee alone. But yet and still, you are friends. Folk folks call yourself a friend to me. But yet and still, you're going to sit here and tell Ricky and everybody else lies about me. Okay. And you're going to tell me. And then in your stream, you're going to say, oh, well, run to Ricky. Why do I need to run to anybody about anything that I do? But you, on the other hand, what did you do? So out of all this Rick and Morris and all this drama, just because... You feel like you ain't got enough friends. You sit there in that house with your dogs or whatever you do on a daily basis and sit back and tell lies about individuals. Well, I, mean, I don't give a shit what you say about me because they talk about Jesus Christ. But guess what? He still reigned. So while you talking junk about me and saying all these negative things about my family, my twins, <laughs> Honey, don't you know we're sitting back here laughing at you? And uh, I looked at your video, and the whole time you're sitting there, well, I know Stacy's in the chat. I know Stacy. Honey, I was nowhere around. You know, I looked at that, your, your stream because it had my name on it. You know, you need to get you some better content, you know, than me, because why would you sit here and use somebody like me who really don't give a flying fuck ass about you and about what you say? doesn't bother me at the end of the day because you see what I'm doing. Chillaxing. Getting ready to do great and bigger, better things. Now, my military career is none of your business. My family is none of your business. Matter of fact, my name should be none of your business. So I'm asking you, Kelly Huff, to take anything down that deals with Stacy, anything about me. Because if you don't, I'm going to have to do what I have to do, and that's report you to YouTube. Now, you say you don't want me to lose my channel. I don't want you to lose yours because right about now you got your shit twisted. I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know if you are nar narcissistic or you're on meds or if you're just simply a fruitcake. But, honey, um, you're barking up the wrong tree. So I'm going to tell you as kindly as I can, back off. Now, as far as your crew, the next time someone sends my sister, me, or anyone in my family harassing comments or anything talking about, you know, negative stuff that's racist and benign and relentless that, you know, pretty much make the average YouTuber throw up. We're going to gonna have something on our hands, Miss, Miss uh, Kelly. And you can tell your friend to take that video down because if not, just like C, C uh, what's her name, the one with the eyes, she made a racist video. About a movie, Beloved, but she put my picture in it. Of course you ought to know my buddy Nick's going to take her channel. See, you got to, when you 
Get on YouTube. You have no idea who you could be talking to. And what I do for YouTube and who I do for the United States Army is none of you guys' business. So, matter of fact, enough of that. Let's just throw that shit out to the uh, outside. Who gives a damn about what you do? Move on, sister. Move on. You know, I, I, I don't want you as a friend anymore. So, you know, you lie. You do everything to come between people and try to break up a happy friendship that has got to the point that you got other people involved that don't even know me. And people like that, we don't need. I, I don't need you in my life, so move right along. And if anybody that's your friend that was on my channel, which there isn't, because you guys are all blocked from my channels, then, you know, they need to stay on your side because I don't need a friend like you or your product that you produce. I'm a happy go look people. Drama free. Drama is not going to come around me or my family because when it comes to my family, you think I'm hard with United States Army, baby. I'm damn so down for mine. Now, your racist comments, your racist crew can stay the hell away from me, period, because I am a black woman who really don't have time for your negativity. Now, Mama Ricky, I love you. You know I do. So, but uh, because of your people that, you know, you come in your chat, I feel very uncomfortable coming in there. So I unsubscribe, not because I don't love you, but it's because of the company that's in your chat. Now, I will support you from a rear's end. That means very far. You know, if you ever have any problems with me or want to say something to me, you know how to reach me, Ricky. But uh, I'm going to end the night saying, you know what, only thing I could do for all of you guys is just pray for you. I pray that, that you find it in your hearts to stop telling lies about me. <laughs> but really, if you don't, then you know what, I put it in God's hands because God can do more for a person who talks shit about anointing. When God says, don't touch my anointing. And I tell you right now, you're messing with one of his now. So say what you want to say. Make all the videos you want. But by the end of the day, I promise you, I'll be the one raining, looking down at you, laughing like you silly imbecile. How dare you? But I got to blame myself, too, you know. I put down my guards a little bit, but not much to let certain individuals in to say that they were associates. Because, you know, friends are friends. You know, I have no friends uh, physically on YouTube, we don't go to shopping together. We don't go on trips together. You don't know my kids. My kids don't play with yours, you know. But um, associates, <laughs> YouTube associates, boy, I tell you, got to keep it 100, guys. Got to keep it 100. And there's three things I wanted you guys to know that you know do support me and my family. I don't call you subscribers. I call you friends. Content I bring you is not from anybody else's channel. The content I bring is not about just WWF. The content I bring is not about Truthfully Trisha. The content I bring is about me and mine. Now you see my dogs, you see my friends, and you see my content from the last video I uploaded when I was talking about haters and trolls. Now guys, I'm going to promise you this and I'm going to keep it 100 as I can. My um, husband... Has asked me to uh, take some time off from YouTube, meaning live chats, you know, because he looks at my content more than I do. He was like, hey, you got a cool crew, you know, and um, he is my best friend and he always will be. My kids, which are in the military as well, love me. My soldiers love me. Hell, my bosses love me. And besides, you have one guy that looked on there to my old dude, she worked for Colin Powell. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't believe this. And you know what? I never thought that I would be an individual repeat something that I thought was one of my biggest foes, which really is not a big adversary because just like I was telling a friend on YouTube today when they was talking about Patricia, better known, a.k.a. Truthfully Trisha, a.k.a. Miss Curly, a.k.a. Captain Smith's wife, Sean Smith. People don't know what you know or who you know when you're on YouTube. And it's very essential for you to keep things off YouTube because YouTube is so social media that even the smallest little lie can break up a nation. So my advice to anybody starting a YouTube channel, three things. Have tough skin, 
Don't let your guard down. Trust anyone. D DTA. Don't trust anyone. And third, choose what you put on your channel and what it's about very carefully. People don't care, honey, when you're on YouTube. They would take your content. They would take your name. They would lie about you when they don't know nothing about you. So be careful. So guys, you know, I just want to get on here and shoot the shit for a little while. And I'm looking at these hater comments. And I want to answer a couple of them. Well, first question is, am I in the military? Yes. Another question, do I work for Colin Powell? Yes. Third question, do I have sisters and brothers? Yes. Fourth question, what does it say? Am I being borrowed up? Up in the house of friends? Of course we are. Okay, Eva, I got another question for you. I don't let people decide who I uh, choose to be my friends. And if you come in my channel, the question is that Eva sent me, Eva 106 says to me, well, Stacy, why is it that you let people make you decide to quit YouTube? No, Eva, I never quit at YouTube, baby. What I did was basically change my name from Stacy Little because I didn't want, you know, people to know my real name. But it is what it is by any means necessary. Oh, you know, there's a whole lot of Stacy Littles out there. But I changed it from that to NC Diamond because I didn't know which way I want to go to my channel. And then African Diamond because of all the chaos that this one particular individual has caused named Kaylee Resurrection. Put it out there and talking shit about me when she don't know anything about me. She going around line and telling people I had a content when I didn't. Somebody sent me a link talking about this is funny. I guess they, people thought I was going to use my content and be basically about Truthfully Trisha, but no. Truthfully Trisha, I mean, I believe everybody could change. She's changing. She does her own thing. And we are not friends, and we're not. I mean, I knew her husband in the military who is now married to one of her best friends. So, you know. And then, um, when it got to the point where she was talking about suicide, I went on her channel and uh, we talked a bit, you know, have a different understanding about why she did what she did because she told me that he beat her up and saying all the kind of things that he has PTSD. And as a person in the military, I know that PTSD can exist and I know that uh, Mr. Smith, um, you know, it is what it is. I've seen him a couple of times reacted negative towards Trisha. And, uh, you know, got to the point where she had to do what she had to do by moving to Jackson. You know, I'm not going to tell where she is, but she had to move away, and that's just the way it is. Now, we'll never be friends. No, we won't because, you know, she has different views and different vibes and different things that I, you know, um, I don't believe, you know, cyberbullying and all these other things. So, but uh, I learned a lot from her, though. But, you know, and, you know, if anybody could be on Dr. Phil, uh, Come home and deal with all the hateration that she goes through and people, you know, sit back and talk shit about it because she talks shit back to them. She may not do things our way, but I give a woman respect, man, because, you know, if anybody can go through that and still survive, I call her a survivor. Now I ain't gonna call her no fucking Rosa Parks, but, you know, that's her. I'm not her. She's her. So do I go on the channel? Sometimes every blue moon, I may step in there just to see, you know, how she's doing, you know. She's from North Carolina. She's my own girl. We're not friends or anything, but some of the things that she do talk about are very interesting. She talk about makeup. She talks about fitness. She's trying to work out or whatever. And, uh, you know, I've, I've come to uh, realize that people can change. I'm not to judge anyone. I'm more of a commentary, a type of person who likes to, you know, moderate channels and that's what I do and I started coming out with my own product you know trying to do different things but you know my two passions in life are I mean well I won't say my passions but the two things that my channel probably going to consist of is dogs and cooking <coughs> now I met a lot of great people along the way you know abandoned boys to uh, angry grandpa when I started out in 2005 six, six or seven I met Angry Grandpa at Charleston, South Carolina Airport. 
where they were doing something for Thanksgiving. And I think uh, Kid Behind the Camera must have been about, I don't know, he looks young now. So, but this happened in 2000, about 2006, I was going to go to Korea on a deployment. And it was like, give me a youngster. And I was like, he said, are you in the military? I said, yes, sir. I'm talking about angry grandpa, rest in heaven, sir. He was like, where are you going to? Because I was, you know, Charleston at that time. It was like, well, I'm, I'm leaving. He's like, well, I got me a channel on YouTube, you know, for all these youngins, you know. <laughs> me being from North Carolina, I just busted out laughing. He was like, what's so funny? He's, I'm trying to do something good here. And basically what he was doing was taking uh, turkeys and, and uh, I think her name is Miss Bridget West and um, uh, Michael Green, which is AKA Keep on the Camera. And uh, they was handing things out in the uh, in the trailer park that they live in, in a country carter, you know. I saw him, and uh, they were just handing things out. So I gave him, uh, I think at the time I had to get $50. I gave it to him. He was like, you know what? You know, they should make more uh, positive people like you in the military. And I think he told me he was in the military. And, you know, I said, well, sir, it wasn't for you. Then people like me couldn't do what we do because, you know, you always got to give respect to a veteran, you know, that, you know, went way before your time, you know, and uh, opening pathways where you can be in the military. Now, the rank that I have wasn't very easy to obtain. But then on E9, top of the ladder, for the enlisted side of the house. And for me to work in a prestigious uh, position, White House, President Fitz University, you know, comes with the price. It's called blood, sweat, and tears. Um, airborne qualified, jump out of planes, train with the Delta. <clears throat> My rank um, at National Defense University was basically I can not just Air Force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard. I was a sergeant major of all of them, of all echelons. I did not just work for Colin Powell. I was a CIO, which is Chief Information Officer, Network Security for all echelons, meaning... Obama, Michelle, all of us will go to work and we'll do a lot of things together. Even I even went to uh, Bosnia in 2004 at the time I was working for the uh, Mr. President himself, <clears throat> Bill Clinton. Ever since I've been in the military, I've been working for nothing but top ranks. So, and Colin Powell was my boss when he was a five-star general. He's now Secretary of Defense, who he was, and now he's doing other great political things. And he always remember me because... When I sold you, baby, I sold you hard. My last name is Little. If you guys don't know Malcolm X, his last name is Little. Yeah, by any means, I try to defend this country best way I can. And so far, I'm doing a good damn job. I'm not the only black female song major. I'm just many of us. But for a black woman to have changed rank like that, you no know, bar, you got to go through some shit to make E7, E8, and then E9. And then if I'm going to sit back and have... Some uh, bunch of, I don't know, women who don't know me sit there and downgrade me because I don't do what they want me to do with my channel by taking my comments and doing what they want me to do. Come on, guys. Get alive. You guys got to stop that elementary shit. There's too many things in this world to worry about than a bunch of trolls trying to sit here and make some views. But anyway, I'm letting that go. But what I wanted to do, I got... Uh, about two more minutes with you guys, and I'm going to load this video up. I'm going to revamp my channel. I'm going to revamp everything that I've done with my channel. I'm going to bring you better quality content. It won't be anything about hateration. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to live stream. I'm going to upload. And if there's anyone that is in that I'm subscribed to that don't want to deal with me because of the negative stuff that has been going on the last two days from Kelly off to uh, this girl named Kaylee Resurrection Resurrected please go ahead and unsubscribe you know because I can't sit here and bring true quality content about me and mine or anything about me because I promise you it's going to be 100% real raw stuff meaning if you're not adult to take the shit I say or whatever, and it's truth, and you can't handle the truth, you can't be around a person like me. To be a part of my channel, I don't want no liars, no drummers, 
no haters, no trolls, no doxing. And that's why someone got their channel revoked because I got the damn uh, YouTube message. This certain person is being revoked because we see there's harassment or whatever. And it took seat. What's her name? I, I don't even remember. All I know is eyes are channel away. You can't be going around talking shit about the military, baby, because when you don't see, but people see me, I'm something when you're sitting there trying to figure out your damn grocery list. You can't do the stuff like that and not expect uh, retaliation, you know, especially when you sow good fruit like me, you know. I risk my life on a daily basis, man, for this country, not because I uh, have to, because I love doing it. But anyway, man, I'm, you know, this video I'm going to leave up. But this weekend, guys, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and revamp all my channels and come down with one solid channel. And in it is nothing on B-Button but the walls of Jericho, I like to call it. Nothing but good quality people out there in the Internet world. I don't have time for no dramas, no haters, man. You want to hate on somebody? Hate on yourself. Move on. Get a life. But anyway, guys, I think I'm pretty much uh, got to the point where my voice is going out. I do have to take this bed rest in. And, you know, people that know me know why I got to have a bed rest. But, you know, there's a whole lot of things I want to talk about. But this is not the place or the platform, you know. Haters going to hate. Dab on them haters, you know. And one thing that I like about one comment that did come out of all this stuff. Sometimes people need to take a break from other people. And Mama Ricky, you hit it on the head. And I would be the one to remove myself from all of that negativity. Mama Ricky, I love you. I'll talk to you on Facebook. Whatever you need, you know, I got you. You know, some things that you agree with, I don't. And some of the company you keep, I don't. So, I think. And then another thing. That uh, one of my other uh, friends told me, who looked at the whole thing with me. Some folks just don't need to be around other folks. Some cultures don't need to be around to be other cultures because when you, the individual know what I'm talking about, sit there and lie about me. You're not just lying about me, you're lying about a whole lot of black folks. And uh, I don't take too kindly of we see you making a video with a woman from Oprah Winfrey's movie called Beloved and put me on it. And that's why our channel got taken down because YouTube thought it was racial, appropriate, dis I mean, just benign. I mean, just low as the lowest you can go. And Kaylee, whatever your name is, you need to take that video down about me because uh, you've got over 500. And Kelly, Huff, I, I, I don't know what your problem is, honey. And, and that's up to you to fix it. I told you that I'm going to subscribe to your channel because of what you did. And you should have been warm enough to leave it alone. But now here at the end of the day, you're making videos, telling people lies about me, you know. And then this other girl named Candy Rain. Honey, don't be talking about my friends. Tina D will stump you like a mud hole. Now, who I'm friends with is none of your business. Get you some business. But guys, look, my supporters, I love you guys and I promise you, that you will not see any more videos about this. But I'm going to tell you guys who's out there in YouTube. Be careful about what you let in your yard. Meaning, you got to be careful. Honey. You got trolls out there that will lie and scandalize your name. And I'd be damned if anybody going to scandalize mine. Because just like my mama said, they don't know you. My mama said, if I was you, I would take them all down. Because you know what? Screw them. That made my mom so mad. That she cussed. And she's a preacher. <laughs> but my dad said, you know what? Why don't you just take it and let haters hate? Because when they click on it, that's YouTube interaction. That's more area you. So don't say nothing. My mama said, you better get on there and, and say something. If you don't, I will. So this is what this video is about. Be yourself. Know yourself. Find yourself. And then you won't have to worry about no haters, baby. Shake the tomatoes. Peace.